is a man that would risk his neck for his brother man. Shaft! Can you dig it? Ooh. Chris, how are you, my friend? I'm good. Can I tell you what the greatest single uh, invention for cars has been over the last 20 years? Um, heat seaters? Heated seats. You got yeah. you Radio. Stole, you stole my thunder. Oh, wait, never mind. You completely stole that's what my we, thunder. That's what we call them in, in my my house is heat seaters instead of seat heaters because everybody wants to sit on that seat. Oh, well, these are all four, so it was... <laughs> Oh, it felt so good. It's now, cold. Oh, I'm telling it's you. It's cold outside. It'll chill you to the bone. I think oh. I had the heat on, on high the whole way down here this morning and never completely felt warm. That's pretty much me every winter. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, there you like, have it. It's like, hey, before we start, can I give out a couple of birthday shots? Well, sure. Okay. I want to um, uh, make a birthday shout out to Jeremiah Dallas, who is a friend of the show and listens. And then I want to shout out happy birthday to Hasha McQueen. Yeah. All right. Whose birthday is today. I think Hasha is turning 27. Yeah. And she looks like it. So yeah, that's good. Congratulations. So happy, happy birthday. birthday to all of us. Yeah, and you know what? Good. I was hearing a, a bunch of Sade music coming down here. So I was wondering, is she dead? What's going on with her? And her birthday is today. Who? Sade. Come on, Mark. Smooth. Oh, okay. All right. I'm sorry. Threw me off. Uh, uh, we got to get you. I some. thought maybe that was the one that died yesterday. That's why I was, no, uh, that that caught was my the attention. No, that was the singer of the Cranberries. Cranberries. Okay. Yeah. What All would right. I see if I went to your house and looked at your album collection? Anything 1993 or before. <laughs> I've got, I've got yeah, like Van the Halen. original Van Halen album, <laughs> and I've got one of the what, what's the what what is the led zeppelin album where the guy's carrying the sticks on his back which one is that do you know the, the that was one of the numbers i believe yeah i've, I've still got that one in the cell like it's still wrapped it's never been opened so i've got good music good good quality music would be the answer where to your are question. you keeping your bg saturday night fever album <laughs> Uh, uh, no comment. It's no, I don't. Yeah, t- t- non-existent is what that is. <laughs> Thank you. So, so I don't know if you listen to any of the, the show on your way down here or not, Always. but but this this thing with Lindsey Graham that happened a few minutes ago has got just got me fired up. I want to reach through the screen and just throttle him. He is not working to represent the Republican Party in this country. He's working to benefit. Democrats and his buddy Dick Durbin, who apparently he was separated from at birth. You know, some would make the argument that he is not in Congress to represent the Republican Party. He's in Congress to represent the good people in South Carolina. I lived in South Carolina, so okay. so, so what? What's the point? Well, I'm just saying you're saying he's not rep. Maybe his can. You know, a lot of times uh, politicians are all about self preservation. Politicians don't do anything. Normally, that's going to get the people back home angry. So if I see Lindsey Graham doing something like this, I'm saying he must have some people that uh, agree with this for with him for him to come out like this. So that's why I'm saying he's not. They're not necessarily represent. They're not supposed to represent the Republican Party, but their constituents back home. <laughs> Lindsey Graham has been consistent since the Gang of Eight days, and what I said earlier is. All, all they claim to have quickly come up with some compromise bill. They dusted off the Gang of Eight bill and they cleaved it in half and said, "Here, Mr. President, here's Phase One, which we've added DACA into, and in Phase Two, we'll get you more money for that wall. But oh, by the way, we're going to grant amnesty to the 11 million people that broke into the country who haven't broken any laws since then." I think the Democrats are playing a, a game of chicken that in the past they felt they've that, they, won. that they feel they've won and they feel that they can win. But I, I don't think so this time around. I think uh, President Trump is very good at going out to the media and to the people of making his making his case. And I think he can clearly make the case that Democrats want to keep the border open so illegals can come in here and, and commit more crimes like what happened to Kate Steinle. I think he's going to bludgeon them over the head with that over and over and over and over. I know I would. Yeah, well, let, let, let's hope. Uh, let me get to a phone call here. Lynn's been holding on for a while. Lynn, thank you for the call. It, is Lynn potted up over there? Is she, Lynn, yeah, are no, you there? Here. Yeah, go ahead. Hi, I just wanted to say a little comment about Lindsey Graham. And that lovely shyster across the uh, river called, you know, Dickie Durbin. Um, (laughs) Graham needs to be told, shaken, uh, somebody needs to get a hold of him and tell him that he's supposed to be, like he called himself a conservative Republican. He did. And evidently he doesn't quite know what that means. I guess he (laughs) kind of thinks that means uh, liberal Democrat. I guess the two terms are, are just synonymous to him. 
And, uh, it, you know, as, as far as these two guys are concerned, the guy across the river, which I can't even stand to, to say his name and grown up with him ooh, over the years, and uh, they, they're both players. Both of them want to make the best deal, not for the country, the best deal for them. And whatever would be best for them is what they'll do. And if they have to lie about it, they will. If they have to steal or, or whatever. And that just comes from a long time of watching these guys maneuver. And they maneuver like snakes in a grass. And when Trump went up there to drain the swamp, I wish he would drain those guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, thank you, Lynn, for mm-hmm. for, for your point. And um, she, she's on the, of the same mindset that I am. Uh, Lindsey Graham has been so anxious to make a deal on this. He he clearly either doesn't comprehend or just doesn't care about the fact that if amnesty is ever granted to those 11 million people that broke into this country that didn't get in line and come in through the system the way it's designed, as as broken as it is, there will never be another Republican elected in this country in his lifetime or my lifetime or Liz's lifetime. You know, I'm feeling like giving everybody the benefit of the doubt today. Why can't, and I don't agree with it, but why can't Lindsey Graham just honestly believe in this? That he has compassion, according to him, and these people should be— It's not logical. Do you agree agree we should give amnesty to people that— broke into this country i do not but uh, i did put on my facebook page today that i've kind of evolved on my daca position and i don't uh, mind them the parents and these children that were brought here illegally staying in the country as long as they never can vote and can never become citizens i can that's a compromise i can i can live with but that's, that's for not, the daca people but that, that's yeah. not in the bill that's not what lindsey graham wants to do he wants to give them a 10-year glide to citizenship. Yeah, I don't support for that. For DACA kids. I don't support that at all. Give them a green card, call it a day. I, I, no, I, 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 I'm <laughs> sorry. Not even a green card, Mark? Come What's on. That? Maybe, no, per- permanent residency. Okay, that's what and, I'm and, a, and I'm not opposed to giving the, the Dreamers, the DACA kids, a path to citizenship. If you graduate from college and you're earning a living and you're paying taxes or you go in the military or something like that that's that's giving something back to this country you know okay maybe maybe we talk about that i would be much happier with just permanent residency yeah because you didn't come here legitimately i I don't i don't want to legitimize your existence here with citizenship because you're just creating incentives for for, others for more to, to do absolutely yeah it was the biggest problem reagan had uh but was granting amnesty and now here we are all these years later wanting to do the same thing yeah what's that uh saying uh that's in the bible there's nothing new under the sun <laughs> hey well, you get religious on you well you yeah, that uh, you know i i'm just uh, the whole this whole thing uh and and the poor uh, kirsten nelson who had to sit there and listen to this barrage from graham and and dick durbin um it was just it, it was sad to watch it really was you know i almost give, gave liz a heart attack last friday because i called dick durbin what mark levin calls him oh you, what? little <laughs> Durbin. Oh, yeah, okay. Because right. he said on the air, can I call him this? And I said, you just did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Mark Levin the, calls him that. Well, if, yeah, well, there you go. There you go. I'm just saying. Yeah. You're supposed to ask they do relax the those rules yeah. a little bit after like 10 o'clock at night or something, yeah. I think. And they still let I don't me know. In, and they still let me in the building uh, today, so I guess it was okay, right, Liz? The, the people coming across the southern border live in hell holes. Yes, they do. All right.